Yeah, this is now the Daldemet showcases cool new stuff he's found and are done. And I'm passionate about it and I want to share it with chat. I finally got stable diffusion to work on my PC. It, it didn't take that long or like that much effort to install it. It's pretty kind of, it was kind of simple. But it takes a while to master. And I was working on trying to generate some like kind of surrealist art from it. Uh, and most of it didn't turn out that well. Where is it? Actually, I made some new stuff from using the Bing AI. Let me show you. Some of it's still kind of surreal, some of it just like whatever. Let's see right here. Th this one was kind of a misinterpretation of the prompt I put. I put something like a uh, giant hand rising from the depths of the ocean, but I wanted the hand to still be in the ocean because that's a lot more terrifying than just, you know, seeing it out there. And this is what, this is what it gave me. Which is pretty cool, but I still I wanted to still be in the ocean because that's that's a lot more terrifying. Like if you're in the water and you see a giant hand like coming out from like the depths, that's you know, a lot more scary. But this one's kind of alright. Next I had oh yeah, this one. A lot of them are also like water themed. I realize like a lot of weirdness happens in the water, so the theme of water is prevalent here. This one's like uh, pillars coming out of the water. Oh, this one looks more like they were built on rocks in shallow water, which I didn't want. I wanted again, just like just giant pillars, as if like they're just shooting from the depths of the water. But if, but none of the images generated from that showed up, so this is like the coolest one I found. Also, just looks like an interesting thing. Like if you if you're just to walk by like a a lake or something, or an ocean, and you just saw like columns come out of it that looked pretty weird. Oh, this, okay, this one's actually my favorite one. This one is uh, man poking a hole in the sun. And this one, it generated three of them, but this one's my favorite one because it's, it's the most, it looks like a surreal piece of art. Like you see like, what was his name like Marguerite Meek or whatever? This one was pretty fun because he's he's also on like on a ladder, like in playing. He just like he <laughs> climbed up a giant ladder. He's got a stick and he poked a hole in the sun with it. Also, it gave him a suit. I didn't I didn't tell the AI to put a suit on him. It just adorned him with the suit, which is like you know pretty. You know, me. I got a suit on. So it made sense. But I this one a lot. It's my favorite recently generated image. Next up. Oh yeah, next up, uh, three of them. Now, three of them are from all the same uh, prompt. This one was based more on the, um, on Evangelion. Because I also like the whole idea of like just giant geometric uh, angels just showing up out of nowhere and fucking shit up. This one I put like, um, I said a dark orb, a black orb floating above a city. This was the first one generated. And also, I remember seeing a while back ago, there was um, like a, I think, I think on TikTok, there was just a screenshot of like a Twitter post or whatever, saying that we should collect taxpayers money to build a giant obsidian ball like on like in, in San Francisco, San Francisco Bay or whatever, and all it does is it, it just sits there, and it emanates like a low hum sound, and a lot of people were were relating that to something you see like an Evangelion, and this is this is one of them as well, or that was like something else that, would, that inspired this image. This is one of them. This is the second one. Oh, it didn't really fit it because this looks more like a moon. That you know, has like craters in it or something. I wanted a perfect black sphere, regal object here. So this looks more like the moon is crashing into, into Earth. 
and then another one. And this one actually looks a bit more scary because it looks like an eyeball. Check this out. It looks like a giant eyeball is, you know, looking down the city, <laughs> like just spawned there. But that was pretty cool. But the first one is definitely more of my favorite. Although, of course, this eyeball one is uh, stranger. Is there? Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, the the um, Open Diffusion saves the, f the images somewhere else, like in a different folder. Where is it? Outputs, yeah, images. You know, it's worth, it doesn't save the images in folders by like prompt or whatever, it saves it by the date. So any images I generate in a day, it saves it all in the same folder, which is not really that helpful. Okay. Um, oh yeah, okay, for, for these generations, I was working more with the prompt uh, as last time with, a, um, a, a highway surrounded by an ocean. That was kind of the uh, surreal image in my head I wanted to create. So I, I think I think I had that idea based off a dream, a really rare dream I had, where I was literally, um, even, even though I don't drive, I was in a car on a highway, just like going whatever. But this, this highway seemed to go on for like a really long way, and it was all and it was all straight. And when I looked to my left and to my right, there was nothing. And it's, it's not like it was like, I don't remember anything being there. There was no discernible object, building, home, or anything left or right. And so I stopped my car on the highway. Even though that's a pretty stupid thing to do, but it's a dream, so who cares? I got, got out of the car, and as soon as I got out, it was nothing but ocean. Both to my left and my right. I looked to my left, it was all ocean, and to my right, it was all ocean. No one cares, you care. And it, it was all ocean. And the stream, it freaked me out so much. I thought, I, I want to project this. I want to make this as an image to, to truly see how weird it looks. And I generated like, yeah, almost 50 images or like, yeah, about 50 images because stable diffusion is not that good of a thing to, to work with. It's not that user friendly. It sounds like a wet dream situation. I mean, I definitely wasn't wet. It was more of just like a weird, just surreal one. I mean, that was, it was kind of funny, just like out of the nowhere he typed that. I'll admit that, wounded. Your clips are dog shit wounded, but that was a funny one. It, it was just more like an out of a nowhere, just weird dream. And no, I was not wet. Yeah, out of, out of 50 images, only... Like two of them are good. And yeah, this is the best one, probably. And this one here it is. And unfortunately, I didn't generate it to be like a big size. It's only like 500 by 500. That's the default size for all images made. But this is by far the best representation of the dream I had. That image looked like a giant black olive. Yeah, I kind of did. I mean, I, I just said black orb. But that's not a pier. That's just like more of the highway. It just stops right there because it didn't continue making it. Yeah, but this is the best representation of that dream I had of just a super long ass highway there's like no land anywhere it's like a just a highway yeah no shit it makes no sense retard it's a dream it's just a giant highway just like oh like just on the earth this is this is essentially how it looked like it was freaking me out it didn't freak me out but more like just it, it made me it was just weird Yes, wounded. I haven't given you attention for a couple seconds. All right, here it is. You happy now? And after a while, just being frustrated by 
like failed image after failed image. So you think the earth is flat? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Did I say the earth was flat? Oh yeah, also at a certain point I switch switch models because uh, different stable diffusion models work best with other things like human body anatomy or uh, like hyper realistic stuff. Yeah, okay. Back to not being distracted. When I, when I started switching with different models and like different parameters, the image just got all kinds of fucked up. Like this one. Which unfortunately I generated as a huge ass image. Even though it didn't work, even though it became the thing I wanted. Oh, this one does look kind of more dreamlike, like it's all red. You can still notice a little bit of a highway, like here ish, and there's just all water. So, this is more like a dream esque uh, scenario you would see. And I believe there was another one. It was it was the same one. And then after a while of just like failed image after failed image, looks like the lower anus. Why are you thinking about anuses right now, dude? What's wrong with you? We're talking about AI images. Um, in the net, yeah. After a while of just being frustrated and not getting to work, I think I just went with like simple, a very simple prompt. The image was so random. Yeah, that's kind of the point. I just started putting in like very simple prompts, like pyramids coming out of the ocean. I, I was just getting so frustrated of not being able to get the image I needed because I was only using like half of what Stable Diffusion was able to offer. So I just put in simple prompts. Or this may, this may have been Bing AI. I don't remember. And I got this one. This one's pretty good, actually. Looks a lot more detail to this one. Although what's kind of disappointing is that the, the, the way these pyramids are drawn, some of them, looks like they have four sides. Like some of these pyramids have all three sides visible, so it looks like there's like a secret fourth side. So it's not really a, a pyramid. But this one it has a lot more detail. You can see the waves, the water, how shallow it is, the sand. It's kind of nice. And I think there's one more, also kind of simple. Looks like just straight up pyramids. A lot more like sleek and modern. And I think that was all of them. Yeah, the rest of these were just like failed attempts. This looks pretty nice. Although it shows more like a highway going into the ocean. And there's a bunch of <clears throat> large mountains with cavernous sections all around. I may have screwed around with the prompt a little bit to say like, oh, okay, how about a highway going into the ocean? Or a highway coming out of the ocean and going straight back in. That, that would have been an interesting one to see, but uh, you know, I'm really a beginner. I don't know how to use the tool that effectively. This one looks, um, looks like a face. Yeah, kind of like some eyes right here and then like these are tears or something. This one I put as a, um, looks like he's interested in something. I guess you can see it that way, yeah. This first one actually came out pretty well. I specified that I wanted this image in the style of Guy Bellout, who's also a pretty uh, well-known surrealist artist. He does more of the simplistic cartoony type of art, and it replicated it pretty well. Looks not half bad besides like the odd coloring of the ocean at some places. It looks it looks kind of you know kind of nice. So what's the point of all this? Th well, this is the Daldemet shows off neat stuff segment. I just show off neat things I have done, made, or found. And this one is for AI art. Yeah, it was it was me trying to trying to actualize 
a dream I saw which in which there was like a giant highway in the ocean and no land anywhere. And I was trying to make that as a picture using AI. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm boring you wounded. You can get the fuck out whenever you want. Daldo doing Daldo things. Yeah, I guess you can put it that way. Yeah, the, rest of, the rest of these unfortunate just failed attempts for me being an amateur. They look all right. Actually, this one looks kind of nice. For some reason, it it brought in planes. For some reason, it drew in planes, and it made the highway look like that, like like how you would see in Halo, like when, when you're on the ring, and you see the rest of the ring like shoot up in the sky like that. It kind of makes it. This kind of looks like that in a way. Ice is thinning very much. They do kind of look like whales. Yeah, I don't know why it, it brought in planes. Although, one neat thing that Stable Diffusion does have is that while you do put in prompts for things that you want to see, you can put in a negative prompt for things you want the AI to exclude and to not put in. But there's this weird thing with like parentheses to specify which item you want to be left out, like in a priority kind of thing. Like, I'm still learning how to use it. I spent a whole day not streaming just so I can make crap. I could have streamed that day. Instead, I made this. So now I know where all, where all that energy and effort went into. Yeah, the rest of these are just look kind of the same, just weird colors. This one looks kind of all right. It's more uh, it's more landscapey. I think it's all of them. Yeah, unfortunately, only like two good images out of this experiment from 50 attempts. But it was worth it. At least I got to see something I won. At least I was able to project what my dream was into an image. So you drew these really good job. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. It took me a lot of time and effort. Although I've decided maybe I'll go back to actually drawing the images I want. Because I realize AI is kind of a blunt tool if you're not skilled with it. So I'll go back to making like collages where I combine assets together and just trace over them so I can truly get the images I want instead of I'm like a monkey bashing with a, a wrench at a computer trying to get this AI thing to work. So I'm just going to go back to maybe just drawing my, my pictures. AI needs, to, AI needs a lot of work done to it. Yeah, and that concludes the Daldemet shows off neat stuff he has done, made, or found segment. Hope you enjoyed.